Um, well, look, it's been disruptive because we're not playing who we're meant to be playing. Um, but look, since we, we've known that there's been a possibility of a game, I think we've gone into the week as we would any other game. So we're prepared properly. Uh, look, we understand, you know, everyone's um, you know got different circumstances. You know, our second circumstances this week have, have totally changed. Uh, but for us, you know, we've, we've got to go on. You know, we are playing as though it's uh, you know a normal week. We know it's not the same for everyone. Uh, we go to a game that you know we're um, we, we're prepared for it. You know, as, as as well as we could have done um, in terms of getting the prep right since we've uh, we've known who we're playing. So yeah, I don't think there's, uh, there can be any excuses from uh, certainly from that front with us. Um, in terms of a players and staff perspective, uh, are you okay with the situation? Are you happy to be playing on? Well? Yeah, look, it is what it is, and look, we, we um, we've, we've said from day one. I think we'll be guided by the relevant authorities, the, uh, the relevant governments, um, you know, and, and they're happy for us to be playing. You know, albeit behind closed doors, then uh, we can live with that. Uh, likewise, if they make a decision after this weekend. Um, you know, we can live with that as well. So we've got to play, uh, you know, every game uh, or prepare for every game as, as though it is uh, coming. Uh, we've got to uh, prepare for training sessions as though um, you know we have got, uh, you know games coming up. So uh, you know we'll, we'll go and, and we'll we'll go until someone tells us otherwise. Have all the players been training? No one's been isolated away from the team. No, um, I think we've been quite clever and, and quite coy at the club in terms of getting all the players to um, to adhere to what we've wanted. Um, you know, the nice isolation in terms of the players. Only at the training ground, you know, anyone from the admin side has, has totally been locked away from us. Um, so in terms of isolation, it's not as much as we're not self-isolating. I think we're isolating as a group, and um, I think we've been we've been generally quite fortunate, you know, so far. You touched on it just before. Does the uncertainty around um, future games and beyond this weekend make it difficult? Uh, not really, because look, we we go and uh, we're preparing for games anyway. So look, and you know, I'll just reiterate what I said before. You know, until someone tells us different, until someone tells us otherwise, we're, we're preparing for training sessions. We're preparing for games. So look, it's not the the ideal situation. Um, we're not the only club who's in the same boat. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go with what we've got, um, and we'll, we'll listen to the to, to relevant people. Um, it is it, it is a situation that is is totally unprecedented. Um, but you know, we, we, we try and do the best that we can. Obviously, you're one of a few within the, the football department who are over here from the UK. Have you spoken to your family um, back home? Are you concerned about any of the restrictions? Uh, look, I think you know anyone with a family will tell you that you know exactly the same. Of course, we're all a bit worried and we're all a bit anxious, and we're making sure we're trying to make sure everyone's fine. Um, you know, in the certainly in the UK, it's not a lockdown yet. I think there's uh, there's talk of it going uh, like that into uh, you know the next few days. Certainly, all the schools uh, are, are going to close. So yeah, of course, when you're not with your family, yeah, I think that uh, that them no the nerves and the anxiety does creep in a little bit. Uh, but look, I'm I'm on the phone to them all the time. Um, you know, and look, it's it's obviously not ideal as I've said before, but um, you know it, it's. It's it's not something that we can plan for, but you just uh, you, you make every phone call. You try and do everything that's right, and uh, and that means I've, I've, that's what I've been doing. Uh, obviously, tomorrow night's game. Let's see where Super Saving the Gold Coast will be behind closed doors. What are the challenges? It's a home game, but possibly mm -hmm. not in the sense. Yeah, look, the challenges are. Look, we're playing a team who are you know certainly in good form. They've got a new manager. You know, different beliefs and different a different confidence level from what they've had. Uh, you know, in, in games gone by, so uh, they come here with you know buoyed by that. Uh, likewise, we're not playing too bad ourselves, so we're buoyed with that. Um, home form certainly up here in Queensland has been uh, exceptional. I think this uh, this year or t since the turn of the year. Uh, but look, we've got to go out there and play the way we can. You know, I think we don't think we can focus too much on the opposition. I think we worry about ourselves more than anyone. I think that's what we've always done all season. It's maybe different in terms of the atmosphere. No fans there. Uh, but look, it's up to sort of every player on the pitch, whether it be us or whether it be the Newcastle Jets players, to sort of try and make uh, you know a, as good of atmosphere out of the, uh, the situation as possible. I hope, I hope it's our boys who do the um, who do the better. It's uh, obviously you know, our last meeting against the Jets just before the New Year's was kind of when we started, you know, going under a run almost. Yeah. Um, what are you expecting from the Jets, and what have we learned since your last meeting? Again, you know, the Dobsey. Um, a new manager, you know, they've got a new, a few new players coming in. So, um, yeah, they're, they're on a totally different mindset than where we were last time. Uh, likewise, so are we. So, you know, the, it's going to be a good game. You know, we, we'll expect them to come here and, you know, make a real go of it. Um, 
And what we've said to our players all along, you know, it's, it's go, you know, you go to a game regardless whether you're home and away. You know, you try and take it to the opposition, you try and work them. Um, you know, and eventually the uh, you open your, your talent will shine through that. We you know we, we what we think our lads have got. Um, they'll be saying exactly the same thing. You know, they'll want their talent to shine through after they've been working hard. But uh, I think both teams certainly at the minute are in, in a good place. They're in a good space, I should say. Um, and uh, you know, we've got the makings of a, of a good team, a, a good game. So uh, you know, we'll we'll, um, we'll we'll enjoy it. Obviously, it's your first meeting against Roy O'Donovan since he moved to the Jets. Do you think he's got a point to prove? Uh, well, certainly not with me, as not I think he's got a point to prove, uh, as of every player. You know, there's obviously a new manager coming to them, so um, you know, take me aside or take Brisbane aside. I think you know their their players, whether it be Roy, whether it be anyone else, you know, have got to do a job for their, for their own team. So. Yeah, I don't think he'll have a point to prove with me. Look, I, I know Roy; he's a, he's a good lad. He's you know he's a, he's a good player. Uh, he, you know, he is a good player. I don't think you can deny that. You know, his goal record speaks for itself. Uh, but look, you know, he maybe wasn't the perfect fit for the way we wanted. So um, look, you know, he, he went with our best wishes. Um, you know, we've got absolute qualms with Roy. I think he's uh, you know he's a great lad, and we loved having him here. But sometimes you know, players don't really work in um, certain situations, whatever club it's at. So. Um, you know, we went with our best wishes, so I don't think he'll have a point to prove to me. Um, you know, he'll he'll want to do well, obviously, because he's at a new club. Um, but Roy was the same when he was here. You know, he wants to do well every game. So regardless of who he plays or who plays against, um, you know, he's, he's got one uh, one thing in his mind, and that's to try and score goals and get the um, you know the three points for the team. Tommy, we were just speaking before. Obviously, we won't have fans in the stands tomorrow night, but there's been plenty of messages of support coming through. How important is it for that to? to keep up and to, to be able to see that support you know, from the outside? It, it's absolutely huge. I think we, um, well obviously we love playing our own because obviously the crowd and what he can bring. I think this is a, a different situation, a totally different situation than what you know any player's been used to before. Um, but you know we're thankful for you know all the support we've had all year and we're thankful for the support now. Um, you know, you said there's, there's lots of messages coming through, lots of uh, good well wishing, uh, well wishes. Um, and look, we're totally grateful you know as much as you're not there watching the game um, you know in in person uh, I know that you're absolutely with us so uh, that's a big thing and uh, you know we'll take a lot of heart and a lot of uh, a lot of joy from that